Yeah.
so much for the opportunity. Pedro Laguna, let's start to our share a mic kirtan to Sambale City. Let's welcome Anandaki and Bong. Haribol, namaste. Haribol, namaste everyone. Thank you, Ken Bong, for joining again. Hi, Grateful to have thank you. you. Okay, let's start. Sure, thank you so much. Nama Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya I'm 
Namaste and Bom. Thank you for joining our pleasure. Namaste, Jaya Jaya Guru. Jaya Jaya Bol. Always take care, Ananda Dasi and Bom. From Sambales. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. From Sambales, let's straight ahead to Mukin Lupa Rizal. We're still in the Philippines. Let's welcome Ellen Dimakulangan. Hari Bol. Ellen, namaste. Namaste to everyone. Thank you for the invitation. Hadi Bol. Best to have you always. Namaste, Ellen. Thank you. Hi, Taku, ma'am. Sure. Thank you, Ellen. Shri Mata 
Haribo Krishna. Haribo, Namaste, and thank you so much for joining Jaya Jaya Guru De Jaya Jaya De Jaya Guru. Always. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you for. All right, from Muntin Lupa Rizal. Let's uh, straight ahead to Olonga City. Let's welcome Bajan Dati. Haribo, Namaste. Please accept my humble obeisances. Haribo, ma'am. Open your camera. 
open my camera. Oh my, video it's open. Yan. Yan. Okay. Yes. I can see you now. <laughs> Thank you. Harbol. Namaste. Thank you, Bajandasi, for joining. Thank you, Harbol. Harbol. Start na ako, ma'am. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vishnu
Dana Mohana Govala Govinda Ramaha Madana Mohana Gopala
Jaya Guru Guranga Guru Guranga Guru Guranga Jaya Jaya Guru Guranga Guru Guranga Guru Guranga Jaya Jaya Guru Guranga Guru Guranga Guru Guranga Jaya Jaya Guru Aribo, thank you very much. Aribo. Magandang si always take care. Jaya Jaya Guru Day. Jaya Jaya ni Tiger. Aribo. Hope to see you again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, to Mulonga po City. Magandang si. Let's fly to UAE, United Arab Emirates. Let's welcome Mohini. Aribo, namaste Mohini. Aribo, namaste ma'am and everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We're very happy to see you. Sorry, Thank you. Wala ulit akong instrument, so ganda. Ganda na. Kaya yan. Kaya yan. <laughs> Please accept my humble basis. Sorry, Bo. Now, Mauni. Hi, Mauni. Isho ka dahi. Isho ka saya mi palayi. Shumadi pira paru pananda para mahonsa iti namuni nama umuni isho padai isha pesaya butale shumadi pira paru pananda para mahonsa iti namuni nama umuni. Shut up. 
Krishna. Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Mohan, Jaya Rai, Jaya Krishna. Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Mohan, Jaya Jaya. Guru Dei, Daya Daya Guru Dei, Daya Guru Dei, Daya Guru Dei, Daya Daya, Shila Prabhupada, Daya Daya, Shila Prabhupada, Daya Daya, Shila Prabhupada, Daya Daya. Shila Prabhupada, Daya Daya, Guru Dev, 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 Jaya Jaya, Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya, Shri Prabhupada, Jaya Jaya, Shri Prabhupada, Jaya Jaya, Shri Prabhupada, Jaya Jaya, Shri Prabhupada, Jaya Jaya, Shri Chaitanya. Daya Nityananda, Daya Jaita Chandra Jaya, Oh, Dr. Vinda, Daya Daya, Shri Chaitanya. Daya Nityananda, Daya Chandra Jaya, Daya Daya, Shri Chaitanya. Daya Nityananda, Devita Chandra Daya, Gaur Bhaktarinda. Daya Daya, Shri Chaitanya. Daya Nityananda, Devita Chandra Daya, Gaur Bhakta Vinda, Daya Daya, Nithai Gaur, Daya Daya, Nithai Gaur, Daya Daya, Nithai Gaur, Daya Daya, Nithai Gaur, Daya Daya, Nithyananda, Daya Daya, Chaitanya, Daya Daya Nityananda, Daya Daya Chaitanya, Daya Daya Nityananda, Daya Daya Chaitanya, Daya Daya Nityananda, Daya Daya Chaitanya, Daya Daya. Thank you. 
Goodbye, Namaste. Thank you so much for inviting me. Hi, Mo. Mohini Dati of UAE. Thank you so much, Mohini, for joining. Always take care. Hi, Mo. Namaste. All right, from UAE, let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome our next guest to chant with us, Katrino. Hi, Mo. Namaste, Katrino. Hi, Mo, ma'am. Thank you for inviting me. Katrino, for joining. Our pleasure to have you. Namaste.
Katrino. Thank you so much, Katrino, for your Good sharing ball. your sweet and beautiful chanting. Hari Bol! Hari Bol! From San Mateo Rizal, let's straight ahead to San Pedro Laguna. Let's welcome! Ambe! Oh, yeah. 
Krishna, Hare Hare, 
From San Pedro, Laguna, Philippines, let's fly to Moscow, Russia. Let's welcome our next guest to chat with us, Vladimir. Hi, Bob, Vladimir. Haribo, Haribo namaste. Haribo. Namaste, Haribo. Please accept my obeisances, dear devotees. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Арибо, арибо, Джайши Кришна, Джайши Кришна, Арибо. From let's fly to the Philippines. Let's welcome Jun Leong and family. Hi, Bol. Namaste. While waiting for Jun Leong, let's uh, welcome Nicholas Linder of Ukraine. Are you there, Nicholas? Okay, while waiting for them, let's chant for a while. Welcome from Ukraine. Let's welcome Niklas Lindner. Hari Bol, Niklas. Namaste. Thank you so much, Niklas, for joining. Uh, Hari Bol, Namaste. Hari Bol. Great to have you again. Namaste, Nicholas. Namaste. Thank you for invitation. 
Are you ready? Yes, I will start in five seconds. Okay. Start.
Prabhu, ni chinanda, shiat veta, kadada, shivasati kor, bhakta prinna, chaitanya. Ni chinanda, chaitanya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gopala Gopala Soda Nanda Gopala Govinda Govinda Soda Nanda Govinda Gopala Gopala Soda Nanda Gopala Govinda Yasura Nanda Govinda Hari Bol Nitai Go Nitai Go Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Go Nitai Go Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gaur, Nitai Gaur, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Gaur, Nitai Gaur, Hari Bol, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohan, 
Ohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Krishna 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 Radha Krishna, 
Hari Bol, Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, Hari Bol, Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, Hari Bol, Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna. Radha Krishna Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Thank you very much Hari Bo Thank you so much Always take care And Hope to see you again Hari Bo Alright from Ukraine Let's fly to Belagor, Russia Let's welcome Dimitri and Mimi. Thank you so much, Dimitri, Julia, and Mimi, for joining again. Hi, all. Namaste. Krishna Pristaya Kutale Shri Mate Sikha Svarupanata Paramahamsa Itinamine
Ветер надо, шли от быта, городка, шли в осадиво, как табы наш.
Thank you so much for sharing your sweet and wonderful chanting. Haribol, always take care. Jai Jai Guru Day. All right, from Belegork, Russia, let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome Chatur Bujas and Indian devotees. Haribol, Namaste, Sir Chatur Buja. Thank you for joining. Namo Krishna Padaya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Shimate Sida Parupananda Paramahamsa Thank you. 
and Indian devotees of the Philippines. Thank you for sharing your wonderful chanting. Namaste, Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya Nitai Gaur. Hi, Bo. Always take care, sir. Namaste. All right, from Philippines devotees, let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome Archana Dasi. Hi, Bo. Namaste. Hi, Bo. Namaste. Namaste Narayan Dasi. Hari Bo. Namaste to all. Hari Bo. Thank you for your sweet smiling face. Hari Bo. Namaste. Not time. 
Dasi of Holland, let's fly to UK. Let's welcome Daryl. Haribol, Daryl. Namaste. Nice uh, background. Haribol, Daryl. Namaste. You have a nice background. Bindavan, uh. Hijai. Hijai, Haribol. Haribol. Okay. Hey. Hope you guys are well. Everybody's keeping well. Yes. Namaste. Quite cold here too. Sorry? Cold. It's cold here in yeah. Manila. Is it what temperature? Just out of interest. Uh, it's not negative. <laughs> 23. We got more snow warnings, weather warnings. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nama on Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Utale Sri Mate Siddha Swamupananda Paramahamsa Itinamine Nama on Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Utale Jimate Siddha Swarupananda Paramahamsa Itinamine Namo Siddha 
Swarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Yoda Karuna Swarupanya Radha Krishna Pristayate Namo Bhakti Vedanta Swami <clears throat> Namaste, Sarasvati Deva, Kauravani, Pracharine, Nirvasesha, Sunyavani, Asachadeshatarine, Namo Maha, Padanaya, Krishna Prema Vidayate, Krishnaya Krishna, Jaitanya Namine, Kodati Shenama, <clears throat> Namo Brahmanya, Devaya, Gobramana, Vitaya Cha, Jagaditaya, Krishnaya, Govindaya, Namo. Adi Bo, Nitai Go, Nitai Go, Adi Bo. Adi Bo, Nitai Go, Nitai Go. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Babu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadada Shri Vasadi Go Bhaktaruna Baja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Babu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadada Shri Vasadi Go Bhakta Vinaya Raja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadada
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Gopala, Govinda Rama, Madana, Mohana. 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 Jaya Radhi, Jaya Krishna, Jaya. Shri Govinda, Govinda, Adam, Mohana, Jaya Radhi, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Govinda, Shri Govinda, Govinda, Adam. Shama Kunda, Radha Kunda, Hiri Govardhan, Jalindi Jamuna Jaya, Jaya Ramana. Shama Kunda, Radha Kunda, Hiri Govardhan. Hare Krishna, 
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Shri Prabhupada, Jai Nita Go, Jai Shri Krishna. Hari Thank you, Daryl Damodar, for sharing your sweet and wonderful chanting. Jaya Jaya Nitaikor, Jaya Jaya Brindavan, Hari Bol! Take care, okay. All right, from UK. Up next, our video lecture. The title is Greed Over Need. Thank you so much for staying online. A disciple of His Holiness, Jagat Guru Siddhas Varup Ananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada. And His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Let's welcome Sir Acharya Das for a video lecture. Namaste. Hi there. Namaste and welcome back. So tonight, um, this is a continuation of the series that we're doing, um, Lessons from Lockdown. And what we're doing is, is looking at the kind of things that we experienced and, and other people experienced and trying to draw lessons from them. The experience itself is not necessarily the lesson, but how we should respond to things, how we should um, deal with things, how we should process situations is really what the lessons are that we need to develop. So tonight, um, this might be a little bit on the strong side for some people and I apologize in advance if it's a little um, might be a little bit distressful but it's only distressful if we look at things from a certain perspective and what this is all about is developing a really healthy perspective and strong foundation to face things in life. <clears throat> so la last week we mentioned about, you know, people's observations of all these huge environmental changes that people are noticing or, or witnessing due to, you know, quite, quite severe lockdown. And in cities particularly that were very polluted and everything just the way everything changed so much, so radically in such a sh very short period of time. And of course, it, it, it leads one to consider mm, obviously, you know, there is this concern about the environment and we have a whole environmental movement seeking to to bring about change and um i'll i'll make a couple of points uh, in that regard one has to do with what is it that we're seeking and whether we are applying the appropriate means or solutions that really address the, the core issues that uh, get to the heart of things. 
So um, I'm kind of titling the talk Greed Over Need, How to Wreck a Planet. And, you know, this is not really an exaggeration. And, and if we really contemplate on, on that title, within it lies the problem and, of course, the, the solutions that we need to, to draw on. So we've seen over the last particularly, you know, 15 to 20 years, this rise in, in environmental concern. But I will put it to you that many of the changes that people may be making in their life, like recycling and, you know, trying to switch to electric vehicles or whatever, alternate sort of energy, that um, these things are really good and they're really, really important. They're really important because they, they, they bring a... a a change in in focus, and it's an it's a we're evaluating our life and trying to live more responsibly, and that's that's all fantastic. But I do put it to you that simply trying to, for instance, adopt more sustainable energy um, solutions is not really an actual solution. The, the, the problem is our value system and our lives and the way that we're living and simply looking to find new ways to fuel these, this lifestyle is not really addressing the problem. So uh, uh, some at the beginning of lockdown, I got a, somebody sent me an, a link to an article that was actually really, really interesting. It was written by this guy, John Halstead, uh, back in the beginning of April. And it was titled, Why I Stopped Protesting and Started a Garden. And it was kind of like, what? <laughs> you know, um, so he talked about how he became very, you know, motivated about five years ago. And um, so he, he joined the ranks of, you know, the environmental protesters. He said it was, I was raising my voice, raising awareness and raising hell. And so he was, you know, connected with people that would do these the protests that really, you know, get people's attention. He says, five years later, I'm done. I'm done marching, done mobilizing, I'm done. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> and he said, the, the practical need to change my own habits and actions, you know, he, he started talking about that because, you know, when people are, are actively engaged in environmentalism, seeking to create a better planet, a better quality of life for themselves and for everyone, that unless they make some really substantial personal changes, then it's practically all for naught. It was the conclusion that he came to, that it was not really sustainable. You can't keep up that level of protesting without yourself undergoing some really major changes. So he decided to start a whole movement on, on backyard gardening and community gardening, and he got everybody into it. And, you know, his focus became kind of like, you know, local focus, because this is where you can actually do something and this is where your life can begin to, to change. And in the beginning of the article, he had a um, quote from Bill Mollison. Hope I've said that right. The Australian guy that um, came up with, with permaculture as an agricultural system. 
um, that was built on, you know, real sustainability and, and permanence. And in this quote that he used, he say, Bill says, the greatest change we need to make is from consumption to production. I'll just let that sink in for a minute. The greatest change that we need to make is from consumption to production, even if it's on a small scale, in our own gardens. If only 10% of us do this, this is enough for everyone. Hence the futility of revolutionaries who have no gardens, who depend on the very system that they attack and who produce words and bullets, not food and shelter. I, I was quite um, moved by, by that statement, that observation, and that is something that's grown out of, of you know, a lifetime of practical activism, meaning you know, in, in one's personal life. And I, I'll, I'll make a quote in a short while from um, <clears throat> the famous um, author and economist in England, um, E.F. Schumacher. And um, he, he wrote a really well-known book in the 70s, Small is Beautiful. Uh, he, was, he went to Burma uh, as part of a group that was acting as consultants for the, the Burmese government. Um, because Burma used to be formerly a, a British um, territory, part of the British Empire. And um, so there were, there were strong ties. And he went there to advise them on, on uh, the development of, of their economy. And he was introduced to Buddhism. And he saw a, a whole people that were living a different life and with different values. And it utterly shocked him and moved him, so much so that his, his life completely transformed as a result of it. And when he returned to England, um, he used to, for instance, grind his own flour by hand on a stone mill to make his own bread. These were the kind of things that he was doing in his own life. Um, he, he was a person of, of, you know, of wealth and, and position in society, but he chose to adopt a very, you know, quite simple lifestyle because of, of what really moved him. But before we mention his quote, we're going to look at a, a something that was written by a quote by Gus Speth. Gus Speth, he was, he's an American environmental lawyer and an environmental advocate. He was formerly the dean of the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies, and he was the former administrator of the United Nations Development Program. And he said something like really startling. I, I was very moved to, to read you know, his observation. So he states, I used to think that top environmental problems were biodiversity or the loss of biodiversity, econ uh, the ecosystem collapse, and climate change. So these three items. I thought that 30 years of good science could address these problems. I was wrong. The top environmental problems are selfishness, greed, and apathy. And to deal with these, we need a cultural and spiritual transformation. And we scientists do not know how to do that. So I'll, I'll, when I post this uh, talk, I'll, I'll put the quotes there. Um, they're very much worth contemplating upon. You know, he correctly identified what was really at the heart of the problem. 
and the points that he's making, one of the reasons I'm, I'm using this as a springboard or a, a starting point for this series of talks is because a lot of the personal and societal and planetary problems that we're facing actually arise from people's the consciousness that they have and the value system that has been adopted and simply changing and you know to another type of fuel something that's more circle sustainable etc is is not going to address this this underlying problem which is deeply personal we shouldn't look at it as a societal problem it's the individuals within society and so if if i want to see an improvement in the world if i want to see an improvement in the way societies are dealing with each other and everything it it has to start with me it has to start with me in in my life um you know there's this new environmental movement um what do they call it um the extinction movement they've got a short term for it and and you know people have been doing all of these radical protests closing down bridges and roads and everything trying to bring people's attention and i i was interviewed by a, a friend um from australia when she was over here in new zealand a little while back and she was talking to me about these problems she had a, a real interest in them and my question to her was well the people that are leaving leading these movements the people that are chaining themselves to buildings or bridges and blocking off and how many of them are actually substantially changing our lifestyles i mean everybody still uses these personal devices the phones and everything everybody's you know engaged in a lifestyle that is so dependent upon technologies that are dependent upon resources that really are creating havoc in the planet then you had you know jeff bezos recently you know he's making this big proclamation about the the real need the real need for interplanetary travel and why mankind needs to be in space and he said fundamentally is that you know our lifestyle here cannot be sustained both in terms of the energy requirement and the output of of pollution and so we need to go you know interplanetary in order to solve that problem and it's just like are you listening to what you're saying are you actually hearing what you're saying you know the problem is is not needing more energy and bigger holes to dump the pollution in or to you know take all the carbon monoxide and dioxide and then try to bury it somehow sequester it into the earth it is is why are we doing all of this anyway what are we what are we doing it for you know this was one of the big shocks that a lot of people had when they you know, went into lockdown a lot of people started feeling really lonely and and having difficulty you know feeling purposeless and kind of really disoriented and we should think about that why is it why is it that when i have all these things going on around me when they are removed it's like nothing left it means i have no permanent and real internal life i have been 
become so caught up in that which is external and which is temporary and which is passing. And I consider my absorption in that which is temporary, fleeting and passing to be my life. And if that is what your life is, then you are in a very precarious situation. And it points to the absolute absence of any real spiritual content in my life. As I've mentioned so many times before, we are eternal spiritual beings. This bodies that we have on are not us. They will age. They will die. I will move on. This is not my home. This is not, there is nothing permanent about it. And yet I seek permanence. I desire permanence. I feel security. I feel there will be happiness and permanence. And, and that's fundamentally true. That, that's where it does lie. What's going on, though, is I'm just so absorbed in all the stuff around me, all of the noise and din, the clutter and the flashing lights and everything that's going on in order to actually distract my attention from this gaping hole I have in my heart, this emptiness that is there. And so, you know, you had this, I mean, in, in America, there was a 55% increase in alcohol consumption during lockdown. People were taking alcohol and, and other forms of drugs. Internet usage went off the roof. Everybody's just constantly absorbed in, in movies. Like, this is where you're just surrendering your mind, surrendering your heart. Offering your life over to that which cannot, all it can do is distract you. It doesn't actually fill a need, a need that is there. And then we're, so we've developed these appetites for endless consumption and an appetite for increased or endless, but even increased consumption is categorically nothing less than greed, the desire for more, more and more and more, and then just consuming for the sake of consuming. And one of the things that you see, it's just like all this craziness around the world, this, you know, preoccupation with getting the, the economy back on track. And it's sort of like, the way it is with technology, you know, am, am I using technology or am I being used by technology? Is the economy serving me or am I becoming a servant of, of the economy? These are really deep questions that really need some serious consideration. And of course, it all goes back to, to things that we've spoken about before, you know, particularly in the, in the early 20th century when modern consumer economics was developed as, as the, the model that needed to be embraced. And even though individuals did this with a good intention, they re relied upon tools, things that would actually cause um, harm to, to human beings. So this brings me to um, a quote I have here from, from Schumacher. And, and I state again that he was an economist. But he, after this visit and time spent in Burma, it made him reflect upon his life, upon his value system, the things that he held to be true, and made him question everything. So it, he had stated in one of his writings this observation about how um, uh, Keynes, the economist, had spoken about the need to, to actually stimulate both envy and greed 
and uh, envy and greed then become the powerhouse to really drive people towards um, economic development. And he said that when the economies develop, everybody will become happier. And there was this fundamental idea that people would end up with more leisure time and more wealth to use in that leisure time. And as a result, the quality of life would become better. But um, Schumacher observed that there will be three things that will be sacrificed in this quest. One is health. The other one is beauty. And the third is peacefulness. And he said they will become sacrificed because they have no economic value within this paradigm. And so uh, the stimulation of, of greed and envy will become this, this powerhouse. So he states, the modern economy is propelled by a frenzy of greed and indulges in an orgy of envy. And these are not accidental features, but are the very causes of its expansionist success. The question is whether such causes can be effective for long or whether they carry within themselves the seeds of destruction. And that's absolutely mind-blowing to, to read this and to read it within the context of where we are going. And if we think about it in, in, in a bigger way, I mean, I, what I'm trying to ask people to do is to really step back from their life and begin to look at things a bit deeper and see what it is that's really driving me, what is it that's making me feel the way I do, what is causing you know, these feelings of, of emptiness, of lack of fulfillment, of insecurity, um, when particularly, you know, when we're faced with, with something on the scale of this pandemic or any other sort of natural, natural calamity. So uh, the point I just wanted to try and establish here is that we need to start really looking at our personal. Don't worry about anybody else. Don't worry about pointing the finger or evaluating on anyone else. We can observe. Sure, we can observe if we can learn from it. But what we observe needs to be applied to my, myself on, on a personal level. What is it that I need to be doing that's going to bring a change? that is going to make my life purposeful, that's going to make it rich and rewarding, no matter what happens around me, no matter what I am subjected to, even my own death. What is it that I am going to do that makes my life successful, that makes it actually rewarding? We understand from the Vedic teachings that the actual purpose of human life is self-realization. To realize your spiritual identity, how you are an eternal spiritual being separate from this body, and to reestablish our connection with this higher spiritual reality and truth, um, particularly with the Supreme Soul, that this is the actual purpose of human existence. And when that becomes the central purpose that we are focused on and what we are cultivating, then it permeates our life, it permeates our choices, it permeates our decisions on what will be courses of actions that we will adopt. It completely reestablishes a different sort of value system, different perhaps than what I had previously. It helps me organize 
the hierarchy of priorities in my life of what's really important, what's really valuable. And you will find that when a person begins this process of spiritual cultivation, they do become kinder. They do live a more gentle life. Their footprints become lighter. That they are able to weather storms. They are able to go through adversity and difficulty without it absolutely rocking them to their foundation. There will be so many positive things that that come out of it. So this is really what what we, you know, what should become increasingly apparent to us that these problems that we face individually and as a society, these are problems that are spiritual in nature. There is an underlying spiritual problem. There may be a manifestation of material symptoms, but they are symptoms. And we should, like good doctors, utilize the the symptoms to um, analyze and identify what is the underlying disease or problem. And then what happens is our life and our lifestyle, our choices, the way we're going to live, everything, uh, our priorities, the things that we engage in on a daily level start becoming things that actually don't address the symptoms as much as address the actual problem. And when the underlying problem has been addressed, the symptoms just naturally begin to gradually fade and, and, and disappear. If, on the other hand, we, we simply run after the symptoms trying to address them without addressing the underlying problem, which is what I say is one of the biggest problems facing the environmental movement, you won't come up with a real solution. You may extend the usable life of the planet. You may, uh, you know, extend certain things, but you're not actually going to address the the real problems. So uh, please really do take some time to contemplate and consider this reality because it's like incredibly important. And I'll leave you with a final quote from Mahatma Gandhi, who says that earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. That's an incredibly profound reality. And I would really, you know, ask you to really try to consider these things, reflect on them. You use this time. Well, I mean, we're not over here in New Zealand. You know, today they we've gone to level two. Everybody's uh, pretty much back to work in modified workspaces and and everything. So there is this feeling of okay, we're we're getting back to where we were before. But it, my my, I'm questioning whether it is desirable to be back to where we were before. Or should we not slow down a little bit and contemplate and consider? Is there a higher, more important lessons to learn? Lessons that are deeply personal. Don't worry about others. Myself, what are the changes that I need to make in my life? Because when I undergo these changes, when my life becomes more inherently spiritual in character, I will have a profound effect, perhaps gradual in a lot of cases, but a profound effect upon others, other people that I am connected to, other people that know me, other people that I come to meet in this journey through this this lifetime. And my entire life and even my death itself will become 
something that others will learn from. And this way, we have a more lasting and a more important, a more permanent impact on society as a whole. So just like the guy that gave up protesting and started backyard gardening movement, you know, that's a fantastic lesson. And we need to apply that type of reality. We need to think local. We need to look at our own lives and begin the process. And of course, we know that the foundational activity that's going to bring this kind of change is this process of meditation upon the spiritual sounds, these transcendental sounds, these names, that actually bring about a purification of the heart and mind, that make it so that we become less enslaved by our passions and our anxieties and our mind. And the word mantra means to actually free oneself from the influence or the grip that the mind and, and the emotions and all these things have over us, the, the spiritual being. And this makes it so we can be more dispassionate, that we can live a more temperate life, a modest life. So thank you very, very much. And, um, you know, going forward, we're going to start looking at some of these, you know, what were often referred to as, as virtues that we need to actually begin to also consciously cultivate because it is through making conscious choices to act in certain ways and to cultivate certain qualities that it helps us to internalize and begin to live a more spiritual truth, a more spiritual reality. And so the, this chanting process is the, is the foundation. So I'm going to chant the Om Hari Om, and then perhaps part way in we'll chant um, Haribol Nitai Gaur Mantra using the same melody.
Hi, Bol. Namaste. Thank you so much for staying online. And thank you, Sir Acharyadas, for that wonderful thoughts. All right. We're going to continue our share mic kirtan. Let's welcome Admin Laguna Bhakta Devotees. Hari Bol. Namaste.
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Krishna Haribol. Thank you so much for joining everyone. Rock out Kirtan from Admi Laguna Bhakta Devotees, Philippines. All right. From Philippines, let's fly to Ukraine. Let's welcome our next guest to Chandida. Excuse me. Grisha. Haribol Namaste, Grisha. Haribol Namaste. Haribol! Haribol! We're very happy to see you again. Very happy to see you. Thank you. Namaste.
Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Niti Nanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Chaya Gora Bhaktorinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Niti Nanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Niti Nanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Haribo. Namaste. Thank you, Namaste. All right, from Ukraine, let's fly to Romania. Let's welcome Marius and Diana. Haribo, Namaste. Haribo, Namaste. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for inviting us every time. Jash la promfat. Krishna Prestaya Bhutale 
Shrimati Sita Sarupananda Paramaham Saiti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Krishna Chaitanya Ram 
Nádeši Krišňa Ti táňa. Prabu Niti nám dá. Ši a dve tak a dva tháňa. Ši vás sa dýgur bárka vrindá.
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Of course, Baby Rada, thank you for joining us. And we are very, very glad to see you. Namaste. Namaste. Haribo. Thank you very much. Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai. Jai Guru Jai. Take care and be healthy. Namaste. Hope to see you again soon. For sure. Haribo. Haribo. All right, from Romania, let's fly to Ukraine. Saforsha. Let's welcome Yakov Kalik. Haribo, namaste, Yakov Kalik. Um, Haribo, namaste. Haribo, Haribo namaste. Haribo. Haribo. Haribo, Haribo. Pristaya Hutale Shri Mate Siddha Svarupada Paramakam Saiti Nadine Namasita Svarupada Paramakam Sanadine Gaura Karu
Chanting. Always take care. Hope to see you again soon. Namaste. Haribol, namaste. Thank you very much, Haribol. All right, from Ukraine, let's fly to California, USA. Let's welcome our regular Kirtaneros, Sal Custodio. Haribol, namaste. Haribol, namaste. Can you hear us okay? Yes. What's Thank the name you. of the little boy? That's Mark. Hi. Haribo. Hello, Mark. Haribo. Haribo.
amazing.
Hari Bol, Namaste. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Thank you so much, Tal and Mark, for joining us. And thank you for sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting tune. Namaste. Hari Bol. Thank you. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Always take care, Sal and Mark. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Before we end our program, I would like to thank you, everyone, our guests, the devotees around the world, the admin, and of course, Sir Acharya for sharing the wonderful gems of wisdom. Always take care and stay safe. Keep well. Hope to see you again soon, everyone. Hari Bol. Oh, always a pleasure to be your host. Namaste. Chaya Om Vishnupad Paramahamsa Prakya Charja Asutera Satra Shishima Jagat Guru Siddha Swarup Ananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada Kichai 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 Shimate Siddha Swarup Ananda Paramahamsa Itinamahal Bajasri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shredway Tagaladhar Shiva Siddhagar Bhakta Brinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Pleasant day and pleasant evening to everyone. Hare Ball, Namaste. Thank you, Krishna Krishna. A person can only be truly happy, truly satisfied when he is tasting love for God. The easiest way to come to the transcendental platform of love for the Lord is by regularly hearing and chanting His holy names. Gopala Govind Rama Madana Mohana Pala Govind Rama Madana Mohana Pala Govind Rama Haribo together go pala go in the round.